Good morning, my dear friends. Welcome back to a new episode of Backpacking TV. I'm your host, Eric Hansen, and with me today is special guest, Steve Corso. He is a chef, and I'm going to turn it over to him shortly to introduce an amazing breakfast array, a brunch that's going to blow your mind because it can get boring out there on the trail when it comes to breakfast items. But I think we've got some amazing things on tap. But first, quick thing, I would like to ask a favor to subscribe to our channel. Make sure that you're willing to give us that thumbs up as the video goes along and turn on those notifications. Chef Steve here with me. Tell me a little bit about what you do and then tell us, uh, blow us, blow our minds about this breakfast here. Thank you. Yeah, it's great to be here. We're cooking on rocks and cooking on stumps today. Uh, I'm head chef and founder of Monte Boca and we provide fast, easy and tasty recipes for doing this, elevated meals outdoors. And we are talking about brunch today, which uh, don't know if you can think you can uh, cook brunch outside, but I think you can. But we're gonna start with a couple dirt bag beverages for our brunch because you gotta drink something while you're cooking. And you then we're gonna to. get into dirt bag eggs benedict. That doesn't sound like anything I have ever done because typically I'm just doing granola and a scoop of peanut butter and that's kind of it. Uh, so this is a little bit about expanding my brain, but it's it's certainly not difficult. Is it is it difficult or is this a pretty simple process? It's pretty simple process. You know, both of these beverages will come together in just a few few seconds actually, but then our recipe will be five, ten minutes uh, maybe, but all of our recipes are meant to be fast and easy. Well, that's perfect. And you have hit the nail on the head with, uh, we got to have a little beverage to enjoy our breakfast. So what do we have here there? So first one we're gonna do is do the dirt bag mimosa. So we've got a can of bubbles, which are really easy packing. If you guys love your summit beers or summit beverages, this is a great option to consider, especially for those early morning hikes or those sunrise hikes. You can go ahead and crack it. Okay. And I'm just gonna, I have a nice packable. <laughs> it's always a great sound. <laughs> that is satisfying. I'll crack mine too. And I've got a nice easy packable orange or cutie. Give that to you. Okay. And you know, sometimes food isn't very complicated. It doesn't have to be. So all we're gonna do is just squeeze it right in here. Okay. I like that. Dead simple. Ooh. Why is that so attractive? <laughs> and good morning. Good and cheers. morning. Your dirt bag. I love the, starting the day this way. <laughs> dirt bag mimosa. Oh, and I tell you what, after a night camping, that tastes real good. <laughs> this is a great way to have a relaxing morning uh, before you maybe set out on the trail or go climb a summit. I, I love it. So for our, our other beverage that we're uh, gonna whip up while we're drinking this beverage. <laughs> so we've got a dirt bag Bloody Mary. So the two classic brunch beverages, brunch bevies are mimosas and Bloody Marys and created a couple recipes to be able to match those flavors. Okay. So we've got our mug here Got a can, can of easy packing tomato juice. Love it. Go ahead and crack that and throw it in there. One of the things that I have appreciated about uh, camping and backpacking with you is you have come up with so many things that I just would never think about doing. I have, I've been camping and backpacking for so many years of my life and I have never tried any of this. So <laughs> this is money. Well, I am happy to expand your horizons <laughs> and we've got a nice handy a little bit of vodka. A little bit of vodka. You can keep this virgin too if you just want the tomato juice or you're concerned about, you know, being a little be a little tipsy as you're climbing over the rocks. <laughs> but it's up to you. It's your it's your 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 breakfast. So, we have got both of our vodka and our tomato juice. So now it's time to jazz it up. So we've got some Old Bay seasoning. Maybe I know you love uh, hot sauce. Love so maybe yours can be a little bit hot. I'll put it on the spicy end for me. Yep. And then I'll throw a little Old Bay in there. You can do Old Bay all day. Old Bay all day. And other great things I've got in here, and this is just really handy packing here in my packing cube or stuff sack. So we've got some celery sticks. We've got some cheese sticks because, you know, Bloody Mary is great, but it really is all about the salad party that's on top. <laughs> you gotta do it up. You gotta do it up. So we've got some nice packable cheeses. We've got some different little meat sticks too. Um, would you like a meat stick? Oh, I want a meat stick. Oh, okay. 
You get my meat stick in there. That's a nice, nice little stir stick as well. <laughs> it's perfect. And what would you like for your dirt bag mimosa today? Oh, well, I think I got to do a little bit of classic celery. There and you go. Cheese looks amazing. Okay. So maybe, yeah, one of one these. One of those guys. And then what you can also do is whittle a little. Get a stick. Stick in there and you mm -hmm. can throw your packable cheese right on there. I want to see how you do this, how you style it up. A little bit like that. All right, am I, uh, am I just impaling this? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Oh, it looks pretty good. Nice little waggle on there. <laughs> or you can just shove that in there. Okay, let's just. Yeah, we'll do that. Here, maybe you can have a baby bell on top there. Ooh. Uh, so also, really, uh, another great addition is these packable pickles, because you need a little bit of acid in there. Ooh, you are right. So you throw a couple pickles in there. Would you like a pickle? I would love a pickle. Maybe a little bit of that pickle juice too. Give me some of that pickle juice. Oh man, I won't say no. Man, your your campy salad party on your dirt, dirt bag. That it looks like Ooh, a looks, full meal before we even get to the meal. Looks pretty great. So you could also do a nice uh, lemon wedge in there as well if that works for you. But make this your own. Make it spicy. Get whatever snacks that you like. Give that a nice stir. Oh, that looks fantastic. So <laughs> look at that. Cheers. So we've got our dirt bag Bloody Marys. Oh, my cheese is falling off. Better eat it. Get that cheese. Mm. That is a meal in itself. It Man. tastes amazing. What a great way to start your day. <laughs> it really is. But you also have some really nice calories in here. You got some nice salt too. And some nutrients from the tomato juice. You've thought of it all. Mm. Wow. But again, make this your own. Have fun with it. Cooking outside, it's, it's great and it's fun, and we should be able to enjoy ourselves. Absolutely. Well, Steve, now that we're properly hydrated, what else do you have for us? All right, let's get into our Dirt Bag Eggs Benedict. So we're not going to sit here and poach eggs for hours. Okay. But I was a little bit curious how that was going to go. Yeah, so we're not poaching eggs, but we're going to do a little bit of a chefy camp hack on, on, on this recipe. So we, of course, got our English muffins. Oh, perfect. Which we're going to toast up. We've got some ham. So this is pre-cooked, and we're going to go ahead and uh, chop that up. And if there is a concern about perishability... Are you giving me a job? I'm giving you a job. Okay. So time, time, well, I thought of my job was to sit here and drink oh, Bloody Mary. Yeah, well, it's always, always good to communicate. Okay. <laughs> um, All right. But if there is a concern about perishability, is this can last for probably one or two days. I've had this on a, on a trip and had it on day two just fine. Yeah. But maybe you don't have it, you know, uh, your 90 degree hike on day four. But, I think that's fair. And I have done this plenty myself, so I can attest to the fact that I often bring meat or other kinds of protein with me that says, says to keep refrigerated. And you got to respect that to a degree, but you do have some latitude to safely carry this with you. Absolutely. So other ingredients that we have, we have some powdered egg, which is a really great backpacker ingredient. And I've already portioned out our eggs here and we're going we're gonna to rehydrate those. But then kind of the star of this recipe is hollandaise. Now, hollandaise Ooh. is a super special sauce. We usually only get it on random Sundays or, or special days at the, at the diner, but it does come in packets and it's surprisingly tasty and we're gonna hydrate up pretty quick. So this is actually a pretty good a, a version of the real thing? It, it's, it's pretty close. And uh, you okay. know when, when you make real hollandaise, you're sitting over a stove and whisking for a whole, whole bunch of minutes and it's kind of a uh, uh, precarious sauce, but this is pretty bulletproof and it's Easy. gonna taste great. Awesome. So why don't we go ahead and chop up the ham, just doing it in small little dices. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and start and toast our English muffins. And we doing all the ham? We're doing all the ham and, th and that can go right into that pot. Okay. So the interesting thing about bread and toast is that Obviously, they're, they come from the same thing, but I have a saying that bread is not toast and toast is not bread. <laughs> really? And why I say that is because toast has texture, toast has flavor from the caramelization that happens when you toast up some English muffins or some bread. So if you have the time, please take a few minutes to toast it, whether than it, that's in a pan or even just over the burner here, because it's going to give you some really great flavor and really great texture. 
So it does something to the bread to make it actually changes the quality of the experience. It, it changes the quality of experience, absolutely. I think we can all recognize that when we have some delicious toast. I got a few pieces of ham that fell off our block. Rogue ham. Rogue ham. Do we want some dirt in our diet too? Uh, I'm good with that today. Okay. We're, we're, we're doing dirt bag, right? We are dirt bagging it, so might as well have a little bit of dirt in the diet. So I'm going to go ahead It's and inevitable anyway. I'm going to throw a little bit of oil in our pot here. Just olive oil? Just olive oil or canola oil, anything like that is just okay. fine. And also I'm going to give you, ooh, nice starting to toast up, a little bit of green onion to chop up as well. Fantastic. Now is there anything I need to know, because I've always thought that you can't use these ends. Is that true? Um, well, you know, when you're cooking at home, you can probably throw those away, but uh, they are edible. Um, just use it all. Just use it all today. Okay. I think we'll stick with the dirt bag theme. I think we'll be okay. We'll survive. We're already eating a little bit of dirt. It's already smelling good. So we're toasting up our English muffins here. Thing to note about some of these camp stoves out there is they are meant to cook hot and and fast. The 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 material is a little bit thinner. Yes. So when you are toasting things like this or sauteing or making some fajitas or something like that, is just be mindful of it. Don't walk away from it because they have a tendency to, to cook fast and, and burn fast too. Right, because oh. usually a stove's primary purpose is just boiling water. Absolutely. So, but you've learned how to cook. So mostly if you just keep things moving quickly, it'll be fine. Yep, and just overall just pay attention to it. So we're gonna go ahead and hydrate our eggs if you could grab the water there. And we're probably gonna add, add it a, straight into here. Add it straight into there. Okay. And uh, probably need about a, a quarter cup. You can always add a little bit more and then just give it a stir with your spoon. Quarter cup, I'm not exactly. Maybe a little bit more. Not that. exactly sure how much is a quarter cup. Yeah, we'll go for that. Start there, add more if we need. Nice, but this is already smelling really good. The other thing about making toast is, man, that, that smell of toasted bread is just mm. one of the special special smells of the, of the kitchen. Anybody who's walked by a bakery. Absolutely. Ooh, nice. So we're getting a nice, nice bit of color on there, which is what I'm looking for. It's also with this oil, we're getting some, a little extra calories this morning. So we are toasting up nicely. That's pa pretty good. Patience for this will be rewarded in just a few minutes. I'm just moving these around the pan. How's that looking? That is looking good. Maybe a little bit more water. Okay. And for these powdered eggs, the kind of the ratio that they that they share on the package is maybe one more little hit like that is. I'm being conservative. <laughs> two, two tablespoons of powdered eggs uh, equal about one egg. Okay. That's good to know. Ooh, nice. We are looking really great with our toasted muffs over here. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat, and while you're continually stirring that up, I am going to go ahead and start our ham. Okay. Nice. So we've got our ham in there, and I can easily add a little bit more oil just to kind of get this cooking. But the great part about ham is it's already pre-cooked, so what we're just trying to do is warm it up. Give it a little bit of color. Nice, that is looking great. So this is the consistency that we're looking for. So the other thing we need to hydrate while this ham is starting to cook is our hollandaise. So I'm gonna give you a pack here. Okay. And just throw that in there and then we'll probably add, I don't know, maybe again about a little quarter cup of water. Well, you see how good I am at measuring a quarter cup of water. Yeah, well, I mean, we're, <laughs> but I mean, we're, we're cooking outside so it doesn't have to be perfect, but then you can always add more, so no big deal. Okay. Awesome. Let's give that a go. Here you go. Brilliant. So the other thing about cooking outside, so this is a you know a little bit more involved breakfast, but when you have a trail buddy with you, it's a lot more fun, and it also helps getting through all those little prep steps that may may be there for your recipe. Absolutely. And I think we've all spent casual mornings at camp, and this is like a perfect way to hang out, enjoy your mountain scene or wherever you are. Got the snowy mountains behind us. Just have a good time as you gear up for the trail. Absolutely. So one thing we are gonna add to the hollandaise sauce here 
is we're going to add some lemon. And this is, I think, very, very important to this recipe because it's going to give us a lot of freshness. Yeah. Okay. Love that acidity. So our ham is looking great. So let's go ahead and add our eggs. I'm going to go ahead and spoon those in there and just dump them all in. And so instead of poached eggs, we are just going to make a, a scrambled egg. We're, we're outside. Doesn't really matter. Can also add a little bit of salt to this too. Nice. So our moisture is cooked off of those eggs. So what I'm going to do here is move. So we can kind of keep this a one pot meal is move that to the side because these are all done. And if you could dump in that hollandaise sauce on the side. Okay. Nice. And so what's in this hollandaise sauce is obviously some flavoring, but some starch. So it's a thickening agent. So we're just going to keep that moving. And it's funny, I've made this multiple times. And every time I feel like it's never going to thicken up, it's just never going to happen. But as long as you're patient and you keep moving, it's going to happen. Like and magic. Just like hollandaise magic, right? <laughs> Brunch magic. So just moving this with my with my spoon. And so this can all be done, this whole meal in, well, one pot for this, and then just basically using the lid or a skillet for the bread. Yeah, and what you can do if you just have one, one pot or one skillet is toast up the English muffins in one and then reserve it in your bowl. So you could just make this a one pot meal. Well, that's easy. Because I know that's a big concern for a lot of people is just, not making a, a bunch of dirty dishes to then clean up and right. keeping it simple. Yep. And, you know, if you do have a chimney style stove or a smaller capacity stove, you can do a little bit of an extra hack on this and make it a bowl. Oh, so yeah. you rip, rip up your uh, English muffins or your bread and you toast that with your ham. And so you just do a whole mishmash bowl situation. Well, that's easy too. Because yep. most people are backpacking, you're just like, for a lot of backpackers out there, all they're doing is eating super boring, bland, just give me calories, just like a pack of mashed potatoes, something. This is way more exciting. This is way more exciting. Okay, so we are ready. And as you can see, wow, look at how thick. That is looking good. Isn't that amazing? So the starch in there is really thickened up in only just about a minute. Yeah. So now it's time to assemble, which is really exciting because we get to eat. <laughs> I so love it. I'm going to go ahead and put these over here. And we're gonna spoon our mixture. That looks fantastic. Right on top here. And if you don't want to eat meat and you're just eating eggs, then you could just have a scramble and you know maybe you throw a couple veggies in there, a little bell pepper, you even make this a, a, a Denver, Denver scramble be Benedict. Really easy to tweak this for any vegetarians out there. And then we're gonna spoon our hollandaise on top, and who would have thought you'd be able to have hollandaise sauce on the trail? <laughs> right? I wouldn't have, not have thought that'd be a backpacking sauce. And you can even garnish it with a few more green onions if you like, but this is ready to eat, so I think we should, we should dig in. Dive here. in. Let's do it. Cheers. Steve, thanks for elevating this meal for me. Mmm. Oh, that is it? fantastic. I love the toasted English muffin with it too. It really has such another flavor dynamic. Yep, nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. Feels like you're eating something real rather than just something out of a bag. But gives you that Eggs Benedict experience outside cooking on a stump. I cook this anywhere. And so this is just one of many ideas that you have in your cookbook. Yeah, we have um, multiple recipes on our recipe bank. We also have a couple handy pocket-sized cookbooks that you can take along with you. But head over to montiboca.com. We have over 175 trail-tested recipes. We test them all outside just like this, just to make sure that they work. But we've got a lot of great options for you. Well, this certainly passes my test. I'm happy to do it again. I'm happy to have this beverage here with you. And so where can people find all of your information? Where should people go? What else do people need to know about you? For sure. So uh, montiboca.com for uh, all trail tested recipes. Most are free with a quick, easy download. And not only do we have them in print, but most of them are formatted for your phone as well. So super helpful if you're into that. But uh, Instagram at montiboca, uh, Facebook, Elevate Your Meals. And also I do have my own YouTube channel, Chef Corso, if you'd like to learn more about cooking outdoors. 
Well, that's fantastic. Thank you so much, Steve. I really appreciate it. And for you out there, would you try Eggs Benedict and Hollandaise sauce on the trail? Hit us up in the comments below. Let us know your thoughts. And uh, yeah, make sure that you check out the rest of Steve's amazing recipes. I've had the opportunity to work with him for a few days now here on the trails. And my mind is literally blown by all of these recipes. They're so good, they're so easy, and they're cheap, which is another amazing thing too. So if you did like this video, make sure you give it a like and make sure you are subscribed here to the Backpacking TV channel. We have way more videos with Chef Steve Corso here and way more about backpacking as well. So make sure you're sticking around and staying tuned. I'm Eric, this is Chef Steve. We'll see you on the trail. <music>